Let's get this show in the road. Where to, Sam? Where to what? Getting this show on the road. Where to? Victoria? Vancouver? Calgary? Edmonton? Regina? Saskatoon? Winnipeg? Toronto? Ottawa? Quebec City? Montreal? Moncton? St. John's? Charlottetown? Halifax? One night in Halifax makes a hard man humble. Now cut that out. How about right here in Vancouver? Good idea, Samantha. Roll camera. Cue the GameCube intro. Rogers. Now watch this, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Well, Sam, this is not a PBS Kids program from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. But Scotty and Kate, I've never been to Pittsburgh. No indeed, Sam, but in the words of Jonah, money is no object. Pledge to the Marlath Mine, you fuck! Now that is quite enough, Mr. Microsoft Sam. If you even dare kill Radar Overseer Scotty once again, we will throw you in the Interpol jail. Capish. Sheesh. And shush the sheesh. Hey look! The Canada 150 logo! You know what that means, Pete. Anna, I want to talk to you. What's on your mind, Generalissimo Microsoft Sam? Generalissimo Microsoft Sam? Sounds Italian, eh? Ha 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 swa 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 ro flow ro flow ro flow ro flow lol 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 swa 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 Ouch. You kicked me in the crotch, Sam. Ow. Sam, why did you kick Pretty Blue Girl in the crotch? Because she stole my laugh line. That laugh line is in the public domain, Sam. It's my property, plus Blue EP. Public domain. My property. Public domain. My property. Public domain. My property. The left line. is in the public domain, and you know what this means for kicking Pretty Blue Girl in the crotch, Sam? What? You just made the list! Chill, Sam, Sam. Why must you be so angry? And what's wrong with being angry? When you get mad, Sam, everyone else gets mad. And you try to keep yourself calm, but then you lose it and lapse into an incredibly violent tantrum. And the Interpol might come and arrest you also. Major funding for this Interpol Canada broadcast is provided by the William and Flora Hewitt Foundation, the Cresty Foundation, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, and the Geraldine Ardosh Foundation. Additional funding is provided by the National Black Programming Consortium and the Civil Society Institute, Catalysts for Change. This Interpol Canada broadcast is also made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. Tonight, on Interpol Canada, at 10, we will examine the advertising revenue going to the copyright owners due to the copyrighted content detected in videos uploaded by numerous YouTube users. Then, later at 11, we will determine the acquisition of Future Shock by Minneapolis, Minnesota-based Best Buy, which occurred previously three years ago in 2015. Our interview with Chairman and CEO Hubert Jolly coming up soon enough. All of this and more coming up next on Interpol Canada, because all of you Canadians out there, we are watching you. Just relax and take it easy, Sam. You might be a goner if you got angry now. You may be right, Shrek. 
I've got no right to be angry. Besides, if you got angry with a 3D animator in Vancouver, you may be a goner in prison. Ha 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 soy 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 ruffle 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 ruffle. Pledge to the Marmoth one, you fuck! Now that is quite enough, Mr. Microsoft Sam. You will now be sent to the Interpol jail for being so rude to Donkey about your laugh line. Go sphincter. Ah, sorry about that fans. We'll be right back after this short break. What was that, boss? When we were about to cue the segments from Between the Lions, something wrong happened. And what's that? An error just popped up. It read, sorry, we couldn't find any segments for you, please try again later. The 9 second Larry Boy theme song played on top of that also. All this damaged and blew up this entire screen, and it looks like we may have to get back to the regularly scheduled broadcast. Oh, that explains it. And now, back to your regularly scheduled programming. Not the devil and she devil again. What happened to you both? For your information, Elsa, me and the she devil just got plastic surgery. Thanks for asking. Still, where is Microsoft Sam? He's not here. He's still in the Interpol jail. Alright, I think it's time Microsoft Sam got let out. And Sam, don't go fucking with us or anyone else again or you'll be sent back here again. You understand what we're saying to you. Yes, yes. Always a good Canadian. Always was a good Canadian. Always will be a good Canadian. Good man, Sam. Enough chit chatting. Anyways, the goddamn Microsoft Sam is pissed off at you. He's pissed because the Almighty and his angels keep stopping us from defeating them. That's because everything would be ruined if you evil beings defeat us even once, and that is forbidden from ever happening. And if the creators of CDC logo bloopers don't renounce their allegiance to you, they'll never know paradise. Shut your fucking mouth. I plan to use Microsoft Sam to lead both the army of Ray logos and the army of CBC logos into battle against you. And our claim on everyone in this studio is justified and you all have unfinished business to attend to with us. You need to shut the fuck up! <gasps> He's right, you infernal man-stealer. Let go of him. He doesn't belong to you. And who's gonna make us? We are gonna make you. Because the power of the infernal cannot match the power of the supernal. Scandalous. Not scandalous. Scandalous. Not scandalous. Scandalous. Not scandalous. You are forbidden to torment anyone without showing conclusive proof of guilt first, and that's point final. You hear me? P-O-I-N-T-F-I-N-A-L. Bad, hard-boiled and rotten eggs, that's what the devil and she devil are, not to mention Microsoft Sam. Correct, Samantha. This couple of really bad eggs can rent and raise all they want, but contrary to what the Lost Behind Cinemation Interactive thinks, these hard, boiled and rotten eggs can never defeat me. Never! That did it, the crowding insult, and how dare you call us a couple of really bad eggs and think that we're hard boiled and rotten, just like the Sam's of hard boiled potato detective mysteries. Like we said prior, that's scandalous, do you hear us? S C A N D A L O U S, scandalous. How many times do we have to tell you? Not. Scandalous. Now take these atomic bombs with you. Curses. Foiled again. These hard landings hurt. Ouch. I hope that teaches Microsoft Sam a lesson for this. Oh, my aching sphincter.
Losers, yes. Profits, no. And good riddance to bad rubbish. No stinker. Uh oh. Us thinks we goofed. You think's right, Scotty and Kate. We won't hold that against you both. But let's try this again. Tell us. The future is friendly. Don't you know that Sam doesn't like having commercial plugs in a game console startup? He's not here, Samantha. He's in the Interpol jail right now. But let's try to get the GameCube intro right. Right away, Cinemation. And action. Oh no! Not again! Scotty and I know we should be punished. Don't worry, Scotty and Kate. When the devil and she devil let loose on us once again, we regret at letting you both go. Thanks. Good evening, and this is Jeremy Scott with a follow-up report on the mix-up that just took place on CBC Nerds Vancouver. The devil and she devil have gotten their comeuppance. And Streamcast Cinemation need not worry about Microsoft Sam abusing the company for using a national anthem called O oh Canada on their YouTube channel, despite the faction that the anthem is supposed to be in the public domain and not copyrighted content. And if anyone is responsible for having it copyrighted, it must be none other than the god damn Microsoft Sam. However, let's let it go at that. Keep watching this channel for future GameCube intro bloopers videos. You, you, Jeremy Scott, how dare you swear in your CPC news reports? Did you know swear words really hurt my feelings too much? That's it. You're fired from CBUT Vancouver and the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, and I will burn the CBUT studio to the ground, reporting your broadcasts and news reports, and you keep fucking disobeying me, you fucking idiot. This is a message from the goddamn Microsoft Sam. Microsoft Sam, first of all, did you notice that I warned you from your own protection? And second, you are not the boss of me, I am. Now get out of this studio right now! <laughs> you were fired, and I'm calling the cops.